This video is all about Cody Longa Alta with the cloak. So just like the previous one, you can see a lot of similar actions, but you may notice a few, few differences, namely in terms of the direction that we're ending up at the end. So, same order, lot of redo, high-low, reversal high-low, plunge and thrust, rise and thrust. So the mandrito comes in, making sure I'm starting the right guard. When I do the nuts with the cloak, I need to make sure I'm increasing with the left foot. That's the part one of my tempo. Part two is I'm going to step with my right, hitting to the flank, or I'm going to cut the sword arm with the mandrito. So this is happening with two feet. One, two, or one, two. And then I want to get out of there. So one, two, and out. We can also use testa here. Very similar to the way that we used it in Corpo Mestreta. So we step to the side, trade, cut, and cut, or cut and cut. Sorry, or cut high or cut low. We can also use space guard here, having both weapons together. If we're talking a low attack, we can still use our weapon, so a false edge, and we can do either defend, trade, cut to that thigh, or if our defense wasn't that great, we didn't get quite enough space to do that, we can always go back to Stravazzo to the head. Alternatively, we can go for face guard, we feel nothing, we pull the leg back, they walk onto our thrust. But if have so, we have the same options. This will just be a little bit easier because my right leg is a much more free. So when we do the this, stepping across with the right foot, covering the cloak, we're going to either punta reverse to the chest or reverse it to the leg. So like here, step across, either it's palm up or it's cut low to the leg. And again, it's really important that as I'm doing this, my cloak is nice and high, so it's not interfering with my right hand. Uh, a real risk is being a little bit lazy and keeping it low. It needs to be nice and high, covering the head, your head. We could also use testa, and this can turn into an imbrocata, or for a few minutes, then pushing through to going past the line, the crossing line. We can go mandrito to the leg in this case, because that'll be the opening. Reversal low, we again have two options. We can either use the ridopio and thrust to the face of chest. He specifically says, well, it doesn't specifically, doesn't specifically say anything. Reversal the ridopio and the brocata, or we can avoid the attack by actually keeping, you know, using this to interfere to let both their, their attack, we're going to step across the line and hit their arm, or head in this case. And we're going to do that with two. So the first one's going to be to the head. So we're stepping across, getting this away, and hitting again. So two of you guys, one to the head, one wherever it needs to go. Our thrusts, we have Two for each. Against an imbrocata, we can beat thrust using the punta reversa, or we can use the outside slip if I've created that gap. And then spokanto, we have the inside slip where we step to the side. This could be a thrust, or it could also be a mandrito to that leg, depending on where this is. Or it could be both of them, so it could be thrust and cut, and then back. And then finally, we can always use face guard again, so we pick it up. And then if I feel any sort of pushing, 
that's what we can go to the leg. Let me do that with the, the full feet here. So it's one, two, and get out of there. That covers code look alta, so we see a largely the same thing as we did with code look stretch, except for with the initial cloak defense, we are in fact ending up to their left, not to their right. But otherwise, the action is the same. It's just the right foot's initiating absolutely everything.